Good morning. I hope you're doing well. It is currently 6.50 in the morning and I will be starting off my planning routine video. I was actually going to upload a November monthly plan with me um, for this Sunday. And in fact, I already filmed it. This is what the spread looks like. I filmed it on Monday and then yesterday on Tuesday, I had to make a very devastating announcement. So. Um, I, I was watching over the clip again, and honestly, I was just, it, w it was very clear that I was unwell, and I don't want to put that out there, so yeah, I'm filming a new video because I, I just want something relaxing for you all to watch and not have you worry about anything. So anyways, um, this is not part of my planning routine, but I typically always have some coffee nearby, and I also have breakfast here. This is steamed eggs with pepper. Um, you just mix water and a beat up egg and add some salt and pepper. That is basically what I've been living off of for the past two weeks. I, without fail, always start with my to-do list and I'm using the Tombow Fidino Skip Brush Pen in the soft tip. Oh, and um, I'm gonna make this theme kind of based around this out of the woods collection. I think it'll be really cute. Okay, so let's start by writing today as I do basically every single day. Then let's make the headers. I was thinking of using these little doodles on the headers. So my room faces a pretty large road, so you might hear a lot of cars nearby. Okay. So I think I'll just put two doodles on each side, and then I'm gonna let her in work. Hmm, maybe I should move this closer. And I'm gonna put this soft uh, pencil board underneath. This just ensures that the ink on this side doesn't transfer to this side. And um, I get a lot of questions about this. This is a pencil board that my friend from Japan got me. So I actually don't have like the original purchase link or anything, but I will try to find it and link it in the description. Um, but no promises because I actually don't know where she got it from. So yeah, anyways, I just go on with writing my to-do list. It seems like today is going to be a very busy day because I just keep remembering things that I have to do. Um, but I would not have it any other way. I think this is a pretty ambitious to-do list, to be honest. I think it's still reasonable. Okay, I do want to make a little section for other things. Oh no, I got this wet. Okay, um, I will use this little tree and a bird. That'll be cute. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space just in case I think of something else that I need to do. Then I will write in other put this up a little bit. That's better. I don't have too many other things to do today, but um, I find that I find that if I actually make the section for other things, then I will think of things to do. And that's a good thing because I should do other things apart from work. All right, so that's basically it. Also, I want to point out that yes, I do still smudge my ink. It happens. Um, it's not perfect, but that's okay. So at this point, I either just get on with work and I, you know, revisit, but um, this morning I happen to have a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna use this four biomes washi and add a little bit of deco right away, just to make this spread a little cuter. Ah, I love that. It's so fitting. Okay. And then to start off my day at the top, I kind of want to do something. Mm, I will put this emoji down over here and this little bear. Actually, let me take this up. So because the bear is like cut off at the bottom, I want to make this emoji straight at the bottom as well. So I'll put this down here and I think that just looks a lot cleaner, so yeah. And I'm going to write in a fresh start.
Mm, there's a lot of awkward spacing there, which I am not a fan of. So I'm gonna move the bear as well. Okay, maybe not. Okay, um, if I sound out of breath, it's because there was an issue with the uh, printer, so I had to go fix it. Okay, where was I? Um, right, I wanted to add some little deco pieces to fill in this very, very awkward gap that I didn't plan for. All right, so I'm gonna leave the daily section as is now, and we're gonna move on to the weekly section. This is what my weekly section looks like. I'm doing kind of like a reverse rainbow. So it goes from like the pinkish reds all the way to purple, just because typically it's the other way around. And I feel like I put in a lot of attention to detail in the first few colors, and then I kind of slack off. So I thought reversing it would be kind of fun. Anyways, I'm speaking as if colors have some sort of a feeling that I might accidentally hurt because I focus on other colors. I don't know. Okay, anyways. So I'm going to start off by marking in work. Um, today, I will be basically working the entire day as I have been doing the past few days, but obviously working on different things though. So I think until 12... I will just be doing mostly admin work and advent prep. It has nothing to do with Amazon, but I'm going to put down this box because when I do advent prep, I'm working with boxes. Also, my hands look very gross from working with just like cardboard boxes all day. So, yeah. Advent box preparations so i intentionally made the advent kind of um slanted but it doesn't look very good so how can i cover that up maybe i can use one of these sticky note stickers claude monet one okay that actually fits perfectly that works. Um, also, I can still use this because we are getting a Uline delivery today for also advent boxes. We are going through them like crazy. I think um, yesterday we went through 500 boxes, all just for advents. I'm gonna be posting on Instagram in the afternoon and then we will continue on with work. Oh, by the way, I'm using 098 as my Tombow color for this day. Oops. I always draw the arrows first so that the swatch has some time to dry. We've been having dinner very, very late just because all of us get very distracted by work. And then by the time it's like 7.30, we're like, oh shoot, we haven't made dinner yet. I'm going to put down this adorable sloth doodle sticker from Baba Bear Studios. To mark in that I want to have some time to sit down and do some other work apart from advents. So I plan on brainstorming for the bean samplers because it's about time we made a switch. So um, I want to catch up on emails in the afternoon. And then the rest of my day is just going to be working on shipping the advents. So I will probably do that for a few hours. If you get a shipping notice in the middle of the night, this is why. I'm going to put down this little Do It Panda Bear sticker from Happy Dye Stickers. It is so cute. And then to end off the night, I want to do something just for myself. So, oh, actually I need to clean the bathroom. So I'll probably do that right before I shower. And then I will probably read before bed.
Alrighty, so that is the weekly section for today done. Sometimes I will plan for Thursday as well, but because I'm filming this video, I'm, you know, explaining everything, I did this very, very slowly and I have a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get on with my day and I will be back. Hello again. So it is currently 12.40 p.m. and I honestly have not touched my planner since I filmed this morning. I'm actually having lunch at the moment. I have a nice cappuccino and also some tofu dessert and a fluffy bun. It has been a very, very hectic morning, which is why I have not had much time to fill in my planner. I've done these two. I started filming this, um, the morning part. Instagram post, I haven't done that. We haven't gotten the deliveries yet. I don't think I've gotten... Oh, I've ordered printer ink, designed the packaging tape, um, and yeah, I think that is it. While I sip on my coffee and stuff, I'm gonna write my first journal entry. All right, I just finished my first entry of the day. I'm gonna eat my lunch, get back to work, and whenever I feel like writing my second entry, I will turn on the camera again. Hello again. So it is currently 4.40 p.m. and I'm once again just sitting down to plan again. Um, I did check off some of my to-do list items earlier, but other than that, I obviously have not journaled. I do want to do something a little bit different. Recently, I have acquired four new inks, all from the same brand. Now, please hear me out. So this is the Dominant Industry ink, and I bought this color called Forest um, maybe a month ago, and I've been using it pretty regularly. This one, um, October Leaves, was gifted to me by my dear friend Helen from, uh, her name is also Helen, she's from Toronto as well, and yeah, she, she gifted this to me and it was so lovely of her. And then these two are exclusive inks that the lovely owners of Wonder Pens, um, John and Liz, they sent this to me as a thank you for doing a collaboration with them. Um, so yeah. Although I just like suddenly acquired four new inks, only one of them I bought. But yeah, I'm super grateful to have all of these. The only problem is I have been so busy with work that I just haven't really had the chance to fully appreciate all of them. This is the only one that I have like actually um, used. I will show you. I've been using this to do some studying. This is what the forest color looks like. But the other three, I honestly just like haven't really done anything with them so i want to show them some love i will be using my glass pen to do some fun swatches and i think this will be a fun break amidst my journaling so i'm gonna make this swatch rather large i think just because i can afford the space I love this one so much. Um, I've been using it to study because it's very obviously not a black. Um, it's, you know, a fun color, but it's also very legible, which is my requirement. This is the one that my friend sent me, and this is a shimmer. So you can see all of this shimmer at the bottom. Um, and I think you're supposed to like swish it around or something. I actually don't own a single shimmery ink. She heard that I was looking for a really nice yellow color, so, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> my skin is stained really yellow. Well, obviously, I spelt October wrong, I wrote October. And then, next up, I have Ginger Chicken, and I love this color so much, it's perfect for fall. Oops, I wanted to do some fun dots. And then this one is Tuna Gray, so Tuna is also another one of their cats, and this is their ink. I actually haven't opened this one yet, so I'm very excited. If you have any tips on how to use dip pens properly, please let me know because I feel like I'm not using it properly. Whoa. Uh-oh.
Good evening. It is 11.42 p.m. Um, and I still have a very long work night ahead of me, but I thought I would take some time to finish off my planner. I think my dad's sleeping, so I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit. I am currently filming the evening part, so we got that done. I did order the book covers and nothing else to do there. So I pretty much finished my entire to-do list, which is awesome, and I actually ended up doing more than my to-do list. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna just quickly fill in some thoughts from this afternoon and tonight. And at this point in the video, I should probably turn off the camera and get some work done and then go to sleep as early as possible. But I am a lunatic and I want to play around in my pocket bullet journal just a little bit. There is a justification. Um, I'm not actually like planning for today. That would be kind of silly because there's literally 13 minutes left of today. But today I went on a little shopping spree online. Um, I spent about, let's see. How much did I spend? I spent $98 on Jackson's art supplies and I got some art supplies. Half of which I needed, the other half I didn't need. The point is I want to make a doodle in my bullet journal of all of the things that I got. So I'm going to use this color to go along with this um, blue. This is really pale though so you have to do a lot of layers for anything to show really going to just make um, really simple cute doodles. I do have my order list here so or like on the computer screen so I can easily reference. I think instead of doing like these two columns, I will doodle everything towards the top. got a bunch of brushes so I'm not gonna doodle every single brush that I got just because some of them are simply the same brush but different um, different sizes and then lastly I got a bunch of um, colored pencils actually I just got five but this brand of colored pencils I have been wanting for a long, long time, so I'm very excited. Karen Dash. My handwriting is getting a little sloppy. All right, so I think that's it. I think that's all I got from Jackson's Art Supplies. There's this little like empty space, and I don't like that, so I'm gonna just draw an emoji. When in doubt, always just fill it in with an emoji. Okay, so this was obviously just a very random thing that I wanted to do, and um, that is kind of the purpose of this planner. I don't necessarily write down like serious to-do lists, but yeah, like for example, I wanted to make a quick doodle, so I did it in this bullet journal. Okay, it is 11.56 p.m. now. I have once again a lot of work left to do, so I will leave things off here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this has helped with just kind of getting a better idea of how I plan in my planners throughout the day. So anyways, um, thank you for watching and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!